Welcome back to the Snipback training course. Today, we are gonna be talking about live whiteboarding and whiteboarding within the video player. First, we're gonna take a look at Safari um, browser on the website. The first thing that you're gonna to wanna to do is after you have a game created and you've created some snips, you may want to edit those snips. So I'm just gonna run a quick filter to see the items that I wanna take a look at. And then I'm gonna click on an individual clip that I wanna whiteboard. Now I can whiteboard for the whole game or I can do an individual clip, but here we're just gonna do an individual clip. I hit the whiteboard button over here on the right. And then what it's gonna do is it's gonna record my voice as well as record the video on the screen. So during the game, I can do this, I can draw on it, X out, do whatever I need to do to clear. And also edit the color that I wanna use for the, the option and I can change the size of the marker. When I'm done actually, using and whiteboarding, whatever it is that I need to teach to an athlete, I can hit stop and I can hit demo and then I can save it for me. When you save it for you, it's gonna save directly for your account or it's gonna save for your team. So anybody that has access to the content in the game can see that. For now, I'm just gonna do save for me. When I'm done with that, over here on the right side where it says highlights and whiteboards, I'm gonna click that. I'm gonna to go to the whiteboard section and I can see the demo. From there, I can share it by copying the URL and I can send that URL any way I want. I can embed that URL in my video if I want or my website if I want to. And then here, I can share it, I can trash it, or I can edit it. Now we're gonna move over to the iPad. On the iPad, a couple of different features as it's loading for you. It's gonna give you an opportunity for you to be able to view is that on the iPad, you can actually live board white video, uh, live, uh, live video. And it have the opportunity to be able to do that. And we'll show that here in a second. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to go into the game section under the account that we were just working at on the web. And we're going to go ahead and check the game. The nice thing about the iPad is everything is in the cloud. So it does take a second to download so it can load that game back up. Uh, but once it does, it moves pretty quick. In this situation, we can see the game that's being loaded just by the loading bar here. Everything, again, is subjective to your own internet. Over here on the highlights and whiteboards, I can click on the whiteboards and I can see that demo right here that we created earlier. I can share that and what it does is it pops up an SMS message or other ways that we can share as you can see here is the URL across the top. If I wanna view that, all I have to do is click on it and it pulls up the whiteboard and as you can see here, and then I can share it by hitting the share button over here on the right. Now, if we wanna whiteboard a live event, we go to the games and there's a live event going on right now. Same setup, same way, but now the video is being progressed the entire time. I hit the whiteboard button here on the lower right and it allows me to draw on the screen, do whatever I need to do over there. If I need to change the tool, I can go over here. I can pull a bigger tool, bigger highlights. I can use the pen or the pencil. I can erase. A few more tools are available uh, on the iPad than there are on the web. Um, just gives you a little bit more options and comfortability. Once you're done, you hit stop. Again, you can label your whiteboard and go from there. And that's how you whiteboard live using the website or the iPad using Snipback.